Welcome back to Sims 4. Oh, we are here today with Lily and her brother Tate and they're at the library. So this right here happens to be the library lot. It is the afternoon of Saturday and these two have had a good breakfast. They have taken their showers, they have tidied up and they're ready to go and explore the town. And so Lily, who hasn't really gotten a good chance to work a lot on her career uh, and she's actually feeling uncomfortable right now because she took a, a shower and a dirty shower. Apparently you really have to keep everything clean or else the Sims get really they're like, oh, I don't want to sit down on this dirty toilet. And then instead of just ignoring it, because in all the past games, you're like, oh, that's okay. I'm going to have my Sim like use the bathroom and then they can clean afterwards. But no, in this one, that means they're going to be uncomfortable and unhappy, but that should be going away pretty soon. And then she can go back to being happy because that's her secondary emotion from her pleasant conversation with her brother. And actually her conversation with her brother seems to have inspired Tate quite a bit because he is currently exceptionally focused. Normally, he's much more like just happy-go-lucky, focusing on being outside, but look at him. He wants to observe the skies with a telescope. He's sitting over here thinking about fascinating specimens. I think that's because he was just looking at one of the fossils, actually. We had him look at the, um, the velociraptor claw that they have found and that they have in their living room. And we had him look at that before we came, and so apparently looking at the fossil gave him the focused moodlet. Or, well, I should say emotion, actually. Which is great because when Lily goes to work, her moodlet boost is actually if she is focused. Her ideal mood is focused. So we might have her start looking at fossils before she leaves for work in the morning. But what she also needs for work is a good performance. She needs to work out and she's pretty interested in reading more books, achieving the logic skill. Uh, she hasn't had a good chance to go up on her renaissance sim aspiration, whereas Tate has gone up on his angling ace quite a bit. So what we're going to do today is let these guys explore the library, explore the community, get to know everyone some more. And what I really love is that while Lily is inside here, possibly like looking at all the books and everything, look at all this space we've got for Tate to explore. I wish he could play on the little pirate thing. That would be adorable. But even if he can't, we have this huge park. He hasn't fished at this park yet. Look at this. We've got all these plants that are growing. He can like whip up some nice picnic lunch so that he and Lily can just go eat a nice picnic. I didn't even think about it, but I guess he could have put something into his inventory and they could have had like a little picnic that way too. That would have been really cool. Then he can come and he can fish. Ooh, and he can collect rocks. Oh, that'll be so nice. And frogs, we can get more of our lovely frogs. Oh, look at this little river. Oh my gosh, it just keeps going on. <gasps> Look at that branch! Oh my goodness! We haven't even started yet, and already I'm distracted because it's just so beautiful. Oh, this world is gorgeous. But Tate's feeling awfully focused right now, so we'll have him go in and do a little bit of reading too, because he's a bit of a bookworm, or I really should say he'll follow his sister to the ends of the earth, so we'll follow them in. And meanwhile, this is the little library, and I really like it. And I noticed that uh, the the gentleman Z Zion, 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 uh, that Lily talked to earlier, who was really mean and having that nasty conversation with her and Mortimer, he's here. And so is Casey, who seems pretty sweet. We've seen her before. She was walking through the community garden. And then a few more. I think, yeah, we've seen Blakely. She just kind of showed up. She seemed really friendly, wanted to get to know both Lily and Tate. Let's see, we've seen this guy, Erwin. Oh, and she looks nice, Briella Thompson's. Hmm? I wonder if everyone gets the same randomized townies or if we all get our own townies, because that would be really cool if we got our own townies. Personally, I'm a, fa a big fan of the randomized ones. But let's see, so we've got nice, beautiful upstairs, actually. Look at this library. Really nice, it needs more plants. But I feel that way about everything in life. <laughs> There's a really cute little children's, like, area as well for kids. I think it needs some, like, toys, because all of the libraries I ever go to usually have toys. Oh my gosh, I think this is a little art station. <gasps> Look at how cute it is. I've never seen this before. Ah, oh, er, there we go. I've not, I've not seen this yet, but these little art stations... You know, there there feels like there's not that many items just yet, but the items that are in here are absolutely awesome. Ah, but all right, enough chit chat. Let's see what these two want to get up to. All right, Tate, you want to tell a joke, and Lily, you want to buy really, you want to buy a like two thousand dollar microscope, but you're only going to give me fifty for it. I need. <laughs> that's just whatever, whatever, Lily. 
and she wants to level up her handiness skills. So maybe we'll have her read a handiness book while we're here. But first, let's let her brother um, brighten her day, because that's just what he does, and tell a joke about aliens. Because, you know, she wants to study space. Oh, you do. They're just such... Oh, Lily, why is your little lip trembling? Oh, because you're uncomfortable? Oh, see, it's those subtle details that are just so awesome to see. Tate, geez, he's been bulking up lately, it seems. Oh, look at the cute little cars drive by. Yay, Lily's happy now. Much better. Having a good conversation with her brother. She's not uncomfortable because she's forgetting about the icky shower she was in. So let's have him come inside and have her read. Do we have anything in here? Gentleman Corgi, a memoir. Sir Wolf is the world's most gentlemanly corgi. A title bestowed by the Distinguished Canine Society. Never one to slobber or gobble his food. He always looks elegant in his top hat, bow tie, and well-groomed fur. Oh my gosh, that's adorable. Oh, we really need to see... Oh, there's Handiness. Yeah, let's have her start reading with Handiness, Volume 1. And then Tate. We'll have you read about gardening or fishing, Tate. That would be really good. Alright, so we'll send him inside. Whoops inside and we'll have him read let's see elegy of for a fallen piano non-fiction by sergio rockman a challenging piece that requires a clean pedaling in order to make this song sound even halfway decent otherwise it will sound like a pile of mush oh so i guess this would actually be for um this would be for like if you wanted to learn how to play pieces this will be really interesting to see if we get to write books in the future, because I could see Lily totally writing some books. All right, you guys, we're gonna be studious. Oh, and there's a logic, like a little chess table. I could see them coming to the library a lot. Tate can get his fishing in. Lily can settle in and read. Tate's feeling focused, so that's why we're having him read right now, too. When I had Lily uh, study a book before, when she was feeling focused, Oh, acquired the handiness skill. Yay! Are you going to sit down while you read that, Lily? Yeah, there she goes. Oh, look, someone's just leaving books on the floor. That's fine. Oh, the fundamentals of painting? Zion, are you into painting? He's settling in to read it. He seems to find it somewhat entertaining. Oh, look at that! And she's like browsing the web, and they're they're talking. Tate, are you chatting with people? You're supposed to be reading. Read about cooking, so that you guys can can finally eat some food that isn't so nasty. Oh, look at how adorable! Uh, is that woman like on on Facebook or something? And look at her; she's a little older. I wonder if it's because she's an elder that she's squinting at the screen. Was that a church bell I just heard? I don't think that woman's here to study. And he's in a chat room. She sounds friendly though. Meanwhile, Blakely is actually putting some work into- Oh, we can see what they're reading! That is so cool! So she's reading Point Farmer No More, The Downfall of Grant Roderick. It's a fantasy novel. Grant Roderick falls in love with a corgi named Peaches and neglects to farm points. Uh-oh. I wonder if it's not a very good drama, because she doesn't look like she's being very entertained. Oh, I think she's just uncomfortable. Ooh. This is cool. I like being- I have always been one to love- Oh, who's that? She's cute. Who are you? Katrina Bells, huh? Oh, you look kind of like Lily. We're going to have to have, like, have them meet you. And meanwhile, I've seen Liberty Lee around before. She's pretty cool. This is fun. I just, I've always been one to really enjoy. Yay, Tate, good job! All right. So he's he's been quite happy. And what does he want to do with his sister? He wants to be friendly with his sister. He also wants to level up his fishing skill. So now that he's dutifully leveled up his cooking skill, he now has cooking skill number three! Yay! Which hopefully means, like... He won't be making as many really nasty foods that they both really dislike. Let's have him go out. 
<gasps> oh, I could just so fall in love with this. Look at how many sims there are out. And they're just everywhere. All right, we're going to have him dig up that little fossil, the little thing over there. And then catch, catch the frogs. We're going to have him catch the frogs over here. He's still feeling focused, but how long does that last? Wow, that like lasts forever. Lily, where are you going? Okay. Do you want to hug your brother while you're reading? Okay, hang on. I'll have Tate. Like, that's so sweet. She yeah. just is like, where are you going, Tate? Yeah. She's still reading her book, I guess, because the, the thing's still there. Tate is in casual conversation with Sophia. Okay, we're just going to stop here. Lily, where are you going? What you doing, Lily? All right, hold still. Now, if you want to hug your brother, then go hug your brother. But stop, stop moving around like this. What's going on? All right, Tate, you come down here. Your sister is being wonky. Or not. You could just stay right here. Lily, are you are you feeling okay? You all right? You wanna you want heartfelt compliment your brother? Give him a little hug. Is that what's going on? Let's see. Reveal deep secret. Boast about family. Friendly. Ask about day. There you go. Give her a hug. There you go. Do you feel better now, Lily? Hey, did you just take my book? She just took the book. That's okay. We're just gonna have to deal with it. I guess Lily just really wanted to spend some time. Aww, little siblings. They're just having a day out together. I guess she didn't want to see him run off without her. That's really cute. Alright, let's see. Do you already hug her? What do you want to do, Lily? She wants to dance to stereo music. She's very close to leveling up that skill. Alright, let's let him hug her. Again, because he wants to hug people again. Oh, He's in a huggy yeah. mood. Sminchy, and then Lily, you, let your brother, let your brother go, go, Ebony. like study the fish and the frogs. No It'll be worth it, I promise. And now they both want to dance to music. Okay, we're gonna have her go back inside since that old lady kidnapped our book, and we will have her get the handiness book again and start reading it. And Tate, you you have my permission to let your sister miss you just a little bit and come out and, and do some digging. You guys can share like heartfelt deep conversation. Eh, frogs over here. Frogs over there. There's so many frogs, Tate. We have to collect all the frogs. You can share your heartfelt deep conversations over over like a picnic lunch that, that she can make later. Well, you can make. I don't trust Lily's cooking. <laughs> <laughs> These two! He's happy because it's family time, too. Family-oriented Sims love being friends with family members. And they're really close. They're, they're such good siblings. That's right. Tate, go on, go on. Go investigate your rocks. Lily, it's gonna be fine. You want to do this. You want to finish a book. You want to finish your skills. See? You're almost done reading this book and you're almost done acquiring a new handiness skill. You will be so happy once you're done. There we go, see? Ooh, and Tate found a new rock thing! Oh, very exciting. There you go, Lily. Isn't that better? Does that count as a book you finished reading? It does. Alright, so then let's have her read. I love how she's perched on the edge of that little ottoman. Uh, Crisis Barn, Fallen Piano, Gardening, Gentleman Corgi. Uh, let's do Logic, an Introduction to Reason, which is actually a book she has at home. Oh, look at this kid, let's play in like a little, little Tetris Flash game. That's so cool. All right, Lily, we're going to swap out your books and we're going to check on your brother. Whoa, what was that, Tate? Oh, he's so cute. Look at his little face. He's like, ah. Oh. Lily gets to go and spend time. What do we get? Oh, it's time capsule. We'll have to look inside it in just a second. But see, I think he's happy. Cause oh yeah, he's happy. Look at him run through all that little stuff. Oh, what? And there's a little steamboat. What is this? What is this? Little steamboat butterflies. Look at these flowers. The detail on the plants. Oh, 
This is too cool. Look at it! We can watch it come towards us. Date! Date, there's a little steamboat behind you, Date. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's so pretty. And I can, like, I get kind of like a, a East Coast vibe from this place for how, oh, dirt frog. What does a dirt frog look like? We'll have to take it out when we get home. And look at this, it's a giant tree trunk. Imagine the size that this tree must have been one day. Oh, it's fantastic. All right, so we've got lots and lots of things. Ooh, and since we're all the way out here. Let's see. Ooh, a surfer leaf frog. Um, hang on, Tate. Whoops. Lily, no, not you. All right, we want Tate to come over here. Lily, stop it. You're not the, the rock digger. I don't think she'd enjoy it as much as her brother would. Wait, stop, stop, stop. Eh, there's a little fishing sign. Fish with bait, huh? Hmm. Snapdragon, little tetra fish. Daisies, apples. Let's just have them fish normally. We don't seem to have anything that's useful for fishing just yet. All right. Ooh, ooh, ooh. What is that? <gasps> Gaspies. Look at those trees. Look at those fish. I mean, look at those fish. Oh, they're so cool. This is so pretty. Oh, and the way the water and the light is. Oh my goodness. Tate, how can you handle the amazingness? Yay, and Lily reached logic level 3! That's really gonna help her out. Alright, now Tate gets to have his fishing. Because he's been so awesome. Letting his sister come. Focus at the, at the library for so long. Now it's his turn. Look at the little steamboat! It's still in the distance! That is like the coolest thing ever! Oh my gosh. Ah, oh, Tate, this is so awesome. Okay, so he is very happy because he's contentedly like sitting here. Lily wants to use a bold pickup line on someone and discuss logic puzzles. Oh. Lily girl, what is that about? Well, oh look, she's like reading to him it looks like. Nancy, I had no idea that you were you were like into reading to children at the library. Is that like your community service? That's so cool. Oh, and there's a little book, little decorative books. Lily, I know what we need to do with your place. Oh, hey, it's your friend Blakely. Oh, uh, well, we could definitely, definitely talk to her. What's she reading right now? Fitness Volume 1, Put Down the Milkshake. Genre, Fitness Skill, by Ori Warrior. Maybe it's time you took an interest in physical fitness. Don't you think you need... Maybe you don't need to finish that third milkshake? Ooh, well that's interesting. Uh, let's compliment her outfit. Because as usual, she's wearing that adorable little skirt. Oh, where's she going? Friend! Stay friend! Lily wants to... Lily wants to talk... Oop. Ooh, take hot an angelfish! That's awesome! Tilly wants Lily. Li, li, oh, Tilly. Lily wants to. Oh, Tilly. I guess that's Lily and Tate combined. Wants to discuss logic puzzles. Okay. Let's see. Um. Tell unbelievable story. Tell joke about penguins. Express admiration just to be polite, cause she's being she's being pretty cool. <laughs> I imagine Lily is like complimenting her for showing up here at the library. Let's see. Listen to an engaging story. She seems super friendly. Do we know anything about her? Um, let's see. We really don't know anything about her. Let's get to know her. Alright, friendly. Where's the get to know? Get to know, get to know, get to know. Oh, Lily can give repair tips. That's cool. Yeah, my brother and I just moved in. He's pretty creative. We've been doing some home maintenance. Blakely's apparently a snob. She doesn't come off that way, though. She came over to their little house and everything. Tate catching fish after fish in the background. <laughs> Lily's talking about cupcakes again. Whoop, and now she wants to read that. Nope, hey, hold still. Don't be rude. We're in the middle of, of talking with someone. Let's see. Let us discuss logic puzzles. What, she can already ask Blakely to move in? Do we have that kind of relationship with this woman? 